Hi, this is me um, at the spot where we took the photo for the cover of the book. Um, this is Nilpena Station in the Flinders Ranges, a few kilometres away from the fabulous Prairie Hotel at Parachilna. Um, and this is definitely where the outback begins. Cheers. As you can see the entrance way. It's very much like Petra. Yeah. On the narrow trip. Run through, run through the water. Walk for a couple of days to get it. It's just yeah. absolutely stunning. Hi, this is Fred Brophy's box and tent. The truth that travels the country, outback Queensland, uh, challenging locals to fight. And an hour from now, I'm going to be actually
This old boxy TV has been in my family for uh, four generations. My son is the fifth. And I'm proud to say it is uh, not only the last boxing left tent left in uh, Queensland or in Australia, it's the last boxing tent left in the world. And we're still going strong today. Ladies and gentlemen, the last one. Get the last one. You would have seen him on television. He's been in the Penthouse magazine. He's been in the Playboy magazine. He's even been in all the gay magazines in Sydney this bloke. He's been in all the gay magazines, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done me food. You would have seen him on the uh, SBS and everything. He's a Ladies and gentlemen, the most famous smoke and joke out of me.
to, to McDonald's to have something to eat because I couldn't eat before the fight because I was too nervous. My legs have only just stopped shaking. I lost, but um, I gave it a go anyway. Everyone there <clears throat> kept coming over and patting me on the back and saying I'd done well and you know they admired me for my guts, probably because I'm such a crap fighter. Um, even the leader of the Rebels Motorcycle Gang came over and shook my hand and he said, good on you, mate. So um, that was my debut fight and it was also my retirement fight because never again. We're at a little secret water hole just between uh, Mount Isa and Cloncurry and it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see there's nobody here. Um, it took us quite a drive to get here and a bit of a hike and it's beautiful water. It's really crystal clear. There's fish. You can see the beautiful rocks, red. There's Aboriginal art sketched onto the, the walls. Absolutely beautiful. We're at Mary Kathleen, um, it's an old mining town, it used to be a uranium mining town and as you can see behind me um, is the uranium mine itself, just now filled with water. The hillside is just steeped from the mining companies work there, God knows how deep this is. Um, it's an incredibly beautiful, beautiful spot, although it's kind of highly toxic and dangerous, we've just passed a post to say don't go any further. Um, but as you can see the water is just an incredible azure and turquoise, it looks stunning. In fact, it's pretty toxic. No, the usual water, the usual water. Um, but it's just an amazing place to come and see. You can feel that this was once a huge bustling town. Lots of life, whereas now it's silent. You can hear the wind probably, but there are no birds, no fish, there are no kangaroos, there's just no Sow yards in Blackhawk. Halfway through the sow. And these are apparently fantastic cattle. There's about 2,600 cattle here today being auctioned off. They're probably all going to happen within three hours. They've just been waved and they're just coming back.